Hey everybody and welcome back. This time the vote basically said 86 is the anime we're going to be going through. So that's what we're doing. We're starting our journey on 86 with little to zero knowledge of the anime itself. I know that you're loving it. And to be fair, the vote was close at one point, but then 86 took the lead. It really did. The Apothecary Diaries and Parasite were like level pegging when I looked at it, but like 86 very much took the lead. Um... So let's, let's see what we're going to get with this one. If you want to watch these unedited and in full, the link is in the description and obviously the, you know, in advance as well over on, over on the link in the description and Patreon. But let's get into this, see what we're going to get. If I miss anything from the episode, by all means, shout it out, but no spoilers. Let's get into the episode and see what we're going to get with 86 off. <laughs> okay. Train. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what is that? That ain't a train. That is some kind of spider. Spider trains. Spider cannons? <laughs> That's psychotic love. This is intense. Whoa. What a way to start. We're in a war? We're driving robots? Okay. And then all of a sudden we're coming in a city. Of course we are. Uniform? Okay, I've seen her on the cover. A lot. Like... Falling petals? I always try to look for symbolism in that. You know, falling petals, maybe uh, the, the, the end of something beautiful. I don't know. Why well, she fed up. She looked really sad. Right. Just going to call out what I see so far. All right. So I'm guessing that was her mother. Very, they're both very sad. I didn't see any father. I heard the music and it was almost like, <sighs> like this again. For another. There's that kind of sigh. Like she doesn't want to face the day, but. 85 districts, so this must be about 86th, right? Belong to the Gideon Empire. So is that what we saw in the opening? Zero fatality, fatalities. Why doesn't she seem too happy about that? <laughs> like, no injuries on their side. She doesn't seem happy about that. Or, or no emotion about it at all, anyway. Are they celebrating? Or is this what she's not happy about because nobody was fighting? They're all just getting drunk here because they're not needed. <laughs> She's really... Okay. Well, it looks like they were up drinking, you know? Okay, so District 86 isn't where we're at. We're in District 85 and we're going after District 86. What's getting dropped quite a lot through this because there's so much to take in. Like, they all keep dropping this. It looks like a... Like a uh, the metal ball with a, a bit of ribbon attached. They all seem to be throwing it down. Lena, okay. So are they drones or are they not drones? We saw we saw somebody inside one of those robots though. Okay, so Lena is obviously not happy with the way things are. 
They keep calling them drones, but we saw somebody inside the drones. They keep throwing their armbands down, or some of them do with a circle inside. That, whatever that is. What does that do? Is that Mikasa? I could be completely wrong, but that sounds like Mikasa's voice. Am I right or wrong? Okay, so she's putting that on. Okay, so she's going to control one of these things then. Okay, so like a... So are these things, is she talking to a robot? I don't know, man. I'm having to pause because I'm wanting these thoughts and there's so much information happening right now. She's like a controller for what I thought maybe people inside the robots, but they keep getting called drones, but they're not drones. They referred to themselves as inhuman and referred to her as Olina as a human lady. And she really takes disdain to that, doesn't she? Spearhead Squadron, okay. So impressive, she's very impressive then. Uncle. That love was a dad, okay. So I was right at the beginning about the mother. You would think it would be an honor, but... Undertaker, we heard that at the beginning. Shinigamito おっ。聞きまちゅうに部下を呼びつけて与田話をするほど暇ではないよ。That's it sounds, and she obviously took the job, didn't she? Stop trying to interact with the processors. I could be completely wrong here, and it might get clarified as we go on, but the, if I'm right, then they control the processors. And the, this particular processor is called an under, is called the Undertaker, which is kind of this is part of this awesome group of drones. Processors, but the processor in this case has no one to kill the handlers, which she's going to become. What we're doing shouldn't even be allowed. I don't get it, I don't get it. And she like that, you know, being just like your father. If he's a nice guy, that's a good thing. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll find out. Oh, the shotgun, man. I mean, because they don't actually think a processor could do it. I don't get it. 
そのアンダーテイカー連れてきてって言ったのよだけど輸送部のバカだも当フライトには豚の席はありませんって<笑>、uh, no、パラレードで気が触れるってのもありえない話じゃないけど脳の一部を活性化して赤の他人と感覚を共有しちゃうわけだからそれに基本は聴覚しか同調してないけど視覚まで同調。そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうだ、そうそういうリスクも多いってことあなたのお父様、この研究の第一人者だったのに。基礎理論は全部別の研究者が構築したものだから、よくわからないところもあるわ、実際。2年後にレギオンがいなくなったら、元軍人の肩書きなんて潰しきかないよ。<笑>ありがとう。I mean, that's a thing. If you, if you... The 86 die quickly. So, is that the enemy? The 86 is the enemy. Always one cake. I always want cake. Why do you mean pass? As opposed to what? <laughs> real eggs and real milk. As opposed to what? <laughs> Artificials are in an age where we eat artificial stuff. It'll be fine this time. Tears of joy. <laughs> is it going to be like. Is it going to be tears of pain or whatever? And his mistress. Okay, that's a lot to take in. There's a lot going on in this episode. Well, what's happening? The enemy unit has begun its retreat. The shadows around her eyes and everything. Oh, what was that noise? I'm going to be the command and control officer of a spearhead. <laughs> like, that's ominous. Like, this Reaper character in the processor sounds pretty deep, pretty scary. So, she was in charge of a group. Now she's moving across to this other group, which is, you know, Undertaker. It's, this episode has gone quite quick. I quite like how much detail's gone in, but it's definitely going to take some more thought to kind of fully get behind it. Episode 1, Undertaker. Where are we now? Totally different place. <laughs> Who are these guys? <laughs> hey, these characters look fun. We've got fresh eggs there. Okay, so I was right then. We did see some somebody controlling these robots, but why did they get called drones? Why does nobody confirm when they die? What is going on here? So these are spearhead. 
So who's Undertaker? Who's Undertaker? That's what you want to know. Oh God, he's neck sliced. What the? What did I just see? That was harrowing. What? This has a lot. This has so much going on in it. <laughs> oh, bro. Jesus, man. Why are they just watching? Okay, is one of them going to help? Okay. He's going to kill him, isn't he? Promise me, don't forget. What did he ask him to promise? Oh, grim. Could you able to go? Yeah. Okay, like, there was a lot in that episode. Do I watch the ends of these? Let me know. Um, obviously, the first couple, I'm not going to know in advance. We are going to look at them. This is strange. Brutal and cruel at the same time. 129 is till the end. And he was Kujo, and he says, well, Kujo were able to go, and he said, yes. Okay, he's Lena. That's a nice thing to do. パーソナルネームアンダーテイカーです。オッケー、そう、ヨロシクお願いします。こちらこそ。よろしくお願いしますね。アンダーテイカー。オッケー。<笑> I think these are just the outros. Okay. So, what have I gotten from that? Right, so Lena doesn't like the way things are. She, uh, I said at the beginning of the episode that maybe her father had passed away because the way, the way her mother and her were sat at the table, it, you know, it was almost like this again. We know that her dad has passed away. I didn't write down his name. Should do. Now, we have these handlers who control the squad. And from where... I'm standing, sorry, sat, <laughs> is that they control them like chess pieces in a war game against the enemy, who I believe is 86, a district 86. They're in 85th, and it's 86th that they're fighting. I could be wrong. 
Now, I was thinking they were all robots, but obviously at the beginning we saw somebody inside one of these, and Lena really didn't like the fact when they were getting called robots. They even said it was it should be illegal. And I absolutely agree. It's these kids or what age range they are, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but they're controlling these robots, getting orders from the handlers on how to attack, maybe. They are dying. Now, The Undertaker, obviously going to be one of our main characters as well, but we saw one of them die, and they said, was he able to go? And The Undertaker said, yes, he was. But he died. It almost made it sound like, was he able to go? It's like somewhere that you would want to go, and like they almost don't want to be there. And then you see them outside this war zone where they are playing and enjoying time together and being... Uh, this is going to be brutal. You know what I mean? We've just step foot <laughs> we've just put one toe into this world right now they really aren't gonna like any handler you can see that the drawings the way they articulate them uh, they, they don't like them and everybody in the district don't think of these fighters as anything other than drones let me know what you think shout out anything i missed in the comments below make sure you've hit subscribe and if you want to watch these unedited link is there in the description much love from me let's do this